Salmon Cave Archives! Knowing and doing are two different things. Hey, welcome back to Airman Cave Archives. Alright, so tonight I thought we'd take a look at a few of my balls here in the Airman Cave Archives, of course. So, first up, we'll look at the Wilson ball over here. Oh, goodness. Now, this particular ball is special, and let me explain why. So, there's a lot of autographs and stuff on it and everything, and signatures and little notes and everything. But the big thing about this is I actually got it from whenever I had done my tour over in Qatar for a year. And whenever we were done, they like to give you a gift or something saying thank you for your time. The reason it's a Wilson ball is because there was an event that I actually volunteered to help out with. I did my time, helped out and did what I could. And then shortly thereafter, I got held back at shift change because they wanted to present a letter. So it went on for uh, you know about an hour, two hours, and finally I was kind of getting frustrated because we work 12 hour shifts. You get in for an hour early and then you usually leave a little bit after. So I've been up for a bit. But to make things worse, whenever the commander came in to do the presentation, he starts talking about this Sergeant Wilson. So I'm thinking to myself, I know this guy isn't talking about me. Sure enough. So they get done reading the letter and everything, and he goes, all right, Sergeant Wilson, so where are you? I did nothing. I didn't move. And finally, the, the chief and other leadership kind of gave me the look like, dude, step up. So I went up, got the letter and everything, read over it, and actually on the letter it says, Sergeant Nelson. But he wrote a little note and said, hey, thanks, Sergeant Wilson, for all your hard work. There was no other Wilson on the letter. That's what made it worse, plus the fact that I had stayed over an extra two hours to get a letter that wasn't even directly given to me. So the funny part is it, they gave me the ball that said Wilson, and it was kind of a joke. And they said, hey, dude, we want to be sure that you're not upset about you know, us giving you the ball. I said, no, you know what? It's perfect. Uh, I got a good kick out of it. And some of the folks uh, put some pretty funny little notes on it and everything for me. All right. So now let's look at a couple of my other balls. Okay. In here, I've got a couple autographed baseballs from different family members. Now, the family members didn't actually autograph the ball. They got them from... Major League Baseball players. So the first one is from Gary Carter. My grandfather, uh, Grandpa Jim, he was actually a painter, and so he would paint houses and things of that nature down in the uh, southern Florida area, central to southern Florida. And he actually got to paint Gary Carter's house, and he used to be a catcher for the uh, Mets, I believe, and for the Montreal Expos. And it was pretty cool to be able to have him uh, get the ball for me and have it autographed. And I was really excited because I think that around that time I was probably about uh, 10, 11 years old. And so I just, I thought that was really neat to go along with the Hank Aaron letter that I got from my grandfather. The second ball is Pete Rose. Now I know a lot of people have issues with uh, Pistol Pete, not Pistol Pete, because that's Pete Maravich from basketball. Sorry, I get confused. But... They have issue with Pete Rose because of the gambling and everything. Uh, yeah, things happen, but he was a great athlete. So this particular one, my Aunt Susan, she actually worked for a radio station, which I had mentioned before, uh, Gator down in Florida. And I think he had a, a restaurant that he was opening. And so at the opening, he was signing um, pictures and uh, baseballs and things of that nature. And she thought about me and actually had uh, Pete Rose, uh, Charlie Hustle, that was it. She actually had him sign a baseball for me. And so I thought it was kind of cool that uh, she did that for me as well because she knew that I collected uh, different sports memorabilia. 
All right, so now that you know about my balls, hopefully you'll be able to look through some of your collections and see if there's not a, a funny story that you've got to tell about your balls or maybe an autograph to, that you never thought about being tucked away on your balls as well. So again, I appreciate you guys for stopping by and see you next time. Aaron Cave Archives! Knowing and doing are two different things.